Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to change your server version on Nix FreeMC panel. Step one, you're going to want to find the Minecraft Forge version that you're going to want to run off of and you're going to want to hit Windows Installer. If you run Windows, uh, use the installer if you run anything else. Uh, so you're going to want to go ahead and run that. Once you run that, install server. You're going to want to put that to a folder on your desktop. Uh, for now, we're just going to hit Tutorial. Um, once that's there, you hit OK, and then it'll do its do. Once that's done, you'll see a folder called Libraries, Forge. You'll see these two folders here. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right-click Libraries. You're going to want to Send To, and then Compress Zip Folder. What that'll do, that'll make another thing here. I'm just going to delete that because we already have one. And then... Um, what you're going to want to do is you go to your Minecraft, you select the, um, you go to launch options, you go to add new, uh, latest release, you want to find the release that you want to use, make sure it's consistent with your Forge release. So Forge 1.7.10, we're going to go release 1.7.10, you're going to hit download server. It's going to download your server, once it's downloaded, drag and drop into your folder. Now, here comes the fun part. You want to take your libraries.zip and you want to throw it in there. You want to throw your Minecraft server version in there. You want to throw your forge in there. Now once you throw, drag and drop your forge, all the files minus the libraries folder here, you do not want to throw that in. Just these three files. Once those are in and it says they're finished uploading down here, um, you hit the refresh. Once you're refreshed, uh, you'll see your Forge version. You're going to want to rename. I'm not going to rename it now because I have my server running. But what you're going to want to do is rename this to server.jar. I'm going to put it to server1 because I have my server running. So it would look like that minus the 1. You'd leave your Minecraft version the way it is. Don't rename it. Don't touch it. And your libraries.zip, you're gonna rename or you're gonna right click and you're gonna decompress. Once it decompresses, you are going to refresh and you are going to find your libraries folder up here. And the next thing you'd want to do, um, you just you just go over to your servers, right? You, boom, and then you start your server up. Alrighty. If you have any questions, leave a comment, blah, 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 subscribe, whatever the, else, the hell you want to do. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.